Hello, welcome back to another video on my thoughts on the current comic book market. I'm shooting this video right before Thanksgiving, yes. And there will be one last auction on Comic Link next week. Hopefully I will look this video quickly before that auction is over and I will do a market report of that last auction. But I can predict that the price is likely going to be soft. How soft? We will find out. Um, for the entire year of 2019, um, you know, if you go back to the very beginning of 2019, I made a video talk about how prices in general has been soft and that can have some kind of correlation with the financial market, the stock market, okay? Those that follow the stock market will tell you that the stock market had a very bad November and December of 2018 that carry through early part of January of 2019 and then the market rebounded. But if you look at a lot of books, big books, small book, key books, a lot of those books like the Hulk 181, the Amazing Fantasy 15, many of those books decline around that time. Some a little bit before, some is a little bit after. But the trend since November of 2018 has been downward for a lot of keys, okay? And as I mentioned, I talk about how that has some correlation with the, with the stock market because you know when the stock market crashed and it did once when a when a stock market dropped twenty percent in literally two months that's a crash okay but for those that pay attention to the stock market what has happened to the stock market since summer it has recouped everything that it lost and breaking breaking record high okay as i'm speaking right now whether it's the nasdaq whether it's the s p 500 whether it's the dow jones most benchmark are at record high or near record high okay so the financial market is rebounded now there's also always a disconnect between what the stock market is doing and what's going on with the underlying economy, okay? It is always difficult to talk about the economy because depend on where you live, it can be very different. I can tell you in Sarasota, if you are here right now, you wouldn't think that the economy is better today compared to 2009, 2008, when it was really bad, okay? The housing market crashes, okay, in 2008, 2007, and then the financial market got dragged down with all the bank failures. And if you live here in Sarasota, during that period, 10 years ago, it was dire. You can drive down the main street and left and right, business was closing, sign, office space for lease, every block, okay? Every block, multiple signs. If you come down here to visit me, I would drive you down the main street right now, you see almost the same yes almost the same things some of the buildings have had sign for lease office space for lease for 10 plus years let me repeat that 10 plus years okay so when people talk about the economy and how strong it is low unemployment wage gain all that stuff i'm sure for those that pay attention to the economy which i am 
I love economics, so I pay very close attention to the economies everywhere. It is so difficult to, to look at the headlines that we see, that I see, and look at things around me, and I don't see good things, okay? So, back to the stock market. The market at the all-time high. The economy is supposed to be, at least the data is booming, okay? How is that not translate over the comic book market being so soft this year? The trend has been, in general, soft, okay? As always, there's always exception to the rule, okay? There's always going to be people that point out, but this book, in this particular grade, just broke record high. If you watch my market report in the past four months, you see that, okay? Not every video, not every market report is filled with nothing but books that decline. That's not the case. It's a mix of things that breaking record high and then some books are down 25%, 30% from the high. So it's a mixed bag, but it's definitely not the same kind of picture that you would see, say, two or three years ago. Two years ago, I think everything was super hot and heading higher from 2017 through mid-2018, everything was breaking record for the most part, big keys and heading high. And then something happened late 2018 and then now a year later, over a year later since that downtrend happened. If you have GPA, you can look at the chart of many big books. The downtrend happened sometime in 2018 and it continue through most of this year. There is really, you know, until I see the, the result of the December auction and comic link, I don't know if the downtrend has found a bottom, okay? As with everything that declined, there will be a bottom somewhere. And then, what happened at the bottom is also something that is not predictable, okay? If, for those that follow the stock market, you hear about the V-shape, okay? When something declines quickly, sharply, sometimes there's a V-shape snapback, okay? That's what, for traders, we love that, okay? We love to buy something that's declining. Hopefully, we get lucky and buy it near the bottom and then profit quickly when it, there's a snapback quickly, right? Personally, what do I like? I like the slow recovery. I like a sharp decline with a lot of bounce on the bottom. Then it gives me time to accumulate, okay? I'm not quick enough to buy a whole lot and then enjoy the snapback. I prefer the sharp decline, the bounce on the bottom so that I can accumulate a whole lot of shares and then it can rise three months, six months later. I'm cool with that. I have made a lot of money in those kind of decline more so than the, the V. I'm, I'm rarely lucky enough to, to catch the V shapes uh, kind of opportunities. So right now, I think the market What's interesting about the market, the comic book market that is, is that there is a disconnect between what's going on with the financial market and what's going on with the price of many big books or middle tier book. I don't really have the answer, okay? I just find that it surprised me. If you tell me back in January of this year that the market the car market is having a hard time because the stock market is having a hard time. I would agree with you. That was my thinking. I made a video talking about the correlation between the two markets. But now, now that we have the stock market 
rebound, all-time high, and yet many books have not snapped back, has not reversed the downtrend. Some books are still declining. Then it's something that can say, hmm, what is going on here? I don't really have the answer. I'm just making an obs observation. And time will tell. You know, in all of these situations, the market, any financial market, whether it's real estate, commodities, stock market, bond market, anything that sustain a massive gain will need a period of time to base it, okay? Unlike the, the, the comic book market, the stock market didn't go crazy in 2016, didn't go crazy in 2017, didn't go crazy, okay? But those that follow the comic book market, the one difference between the two markets is that the comic book market for big keys like Amazing Fantasy 15 or Hope, 1, Hope 181 went crazy in 2017 and 2016. Crazy, okay? The, the kind of gain that is unsustainable. You hear me talk about this quite often on my channel this year. That big gains, by big gains, I mean something that double and triple. It's just not reasonable to expect any kind of asset, any, to go up 100%, 200%, and then maintain that kind of trajectory, okay? I, it's, it's, I'm beating a dead horse here. So what we have, the disconnection between what's going on with the stock market and the comic market is, in my opinion, just my opinion, is that because of that sharp rise that we had in previous two years, the market is still digesting. It's still digesting that gain and people are still liquidating, okay? At the end of the day, price decline is more or less people are selling, but buyers are unwilling to pay that's why the sellers had to take the lower prices, okay? Less people are bidding. Less people are willing to pay up for those things. So in time, maybe in 2020, we will see, we will look back at 2019 and see that this could be possibly one of the worst years in this hobby too early to call the end of anything but at the same time it will play out you know this is a lesson for those that are new in this hobby if you are never if you're not in this hobby long enough to see long decline trend this is your first taste of it okay the last time i see something like this not to this extent for those that follow the, the comic book market, there was a period where keys like Tales of Suspense 39, Amazing Fantasy 15 did decline 20 to 25% in the 20, 2009, 2010 timeframe. There was a period of downdraft because of the, the economy. But a lot of collectors of today were not in the hobby back in 2008, 2009, 2010. So they have not experienced that kind of bad market where things are not making money. Here's your first chance, the first taste of it. How you handle yourself in this kind of environment will tell you if, if you had the stomach to stay in this in the long run because it will happen again, okay? Anyone that participate in a stock market long enough has seen multiple major crashes that caused a lot of pain. For me, 1987 was the first, 2000 is the next, 2008 is the next, okay? So three or four times in my 
past 25, 30 years in the stock market, I have seen it. So take this as a good learning experience so that you don't get yourself into trouble buying into the hypes. If you see books that are up 100, 200%, you see what happened, okay? The history lesson is here. Anyhow, enough rambling. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, in six months, I have better news. Bye-bye. <laughs>